Hi everyone, just wanted to thank you for coming by to my new YouTube channel, Hayden Sports, and it's my first time doing YouTube, and I just wanted to tell you guys what it's going to be all about, and maybe get into some early content. Um, so this channel is basically going to be about um, my passion for sports, so anything from my favorite team, um, Toronto Maple Leafs, um, the Toronto Blue Jays, Raptors, anything that's sports related. So, um, this is my new creative outlet. I've never really had one. I've always felt some creativity. Um, and it's just something that I feel like will really help me and something that I can pursue. So, I am 22 years old. I am like everyone else, not have much to do during the COVID season. Um, just been paying attention to sports a lot and trying to possibly make a job out of it. So, I'm, f again, my name is Hayden. I'm from Southern Ontario and I have, since I can ever remember, been a sports fan. It's a Toronto Maple Leafs has been in my blood since my grandparents, great grandparents, last saw the Stanley Cup won by them. And I hope that I could see that one day, uh, especially with um, the Toronto Blue Jays winning a World Series, maybe, and the Toronto Maple Leafs maybe winning a Stanley Cup. 1967 is a long time. So, I just want to get straight into it. Um, again, very strange year for sports, and I, I can't believe that. I think it was a few weeks ago, it re just before Tampa Bay won the Stanley Cup, it was... Uh, it hit the almost the year mark of puck drop, and that's crazy because this time of year, in October, the season would have been starting. So Gary Bettman already said that the season should be starting shooting for January 1st, which is amazing, But and through everything that's happened this year and what everyone's been through, all the players, I, I can't believe they were able to make the Stanley Cup happen and the playoffs. And it's interesting to look around the league and see how different leagues handle it. So, first off, the NHL went straight for the bubble plan, which I think was great because it ensured the most likelihood of safety for the players and the referees, everyone who's involved. I think it was a great idea that they brought everything over to Canada, the bubble cities of Edmonton and Toronto, and they made sure that the games could be played because it would have looked bad if they were confident that they brought the league back and then shut down. So I think they did a great job and they should be praised for that. So, and then the NBA, they had some trouble early on. They had a lot of drama, you know, with like Rudy Gobert, who touched the microphone and everything, uh, mocking the coronavirus at the time. And he ended up testing positive. I mean, that's, that's not the moment that he contracted it clearly, but um, it just showed that the seriousness of the situation wasn't fully understood to the degree that it is now. Um, and I think maybe a good thing that we had to live and learn. We went through the process. They got to, you know, know what it was going to take to make a season happen. And the NHL and NBA had the seasons I believe one of them was complete, or no, they were both very close to being complete within 10 games. So they had an easier, easier job of making it happen. Um, they had to wrap up the season, start the playoffs basically, do some exhibition games. And MLB had to have a COVID season basically, they called it like, you know, they had summer camp instead of spring training. So, um, which is really interesting to watch. I mean, I think going into all of this COVID sports season was, I think everyone's main thing was, wow, like there's going to be no fans. And that was, I think the first few games of Blue Jays summer camp was, it was, it, it was insane. Like my fiance and I were watching and it was dead silent. It was like the only thing keeping it from acting like it was dead silence was the commentators. So, and great job for them. I mean, adapting and being, I know they weren't at the stadiums. They had to do it from Sportsnet in Toronto. So again, so many things that you could talk about. This video could be 
hour long just talking about the drama behind all those leagues with COVID. It's been something that's very unprecedented. It's something that we've never been able to experience, something I've never experienced. I mean, I'm, I'm young, but it's different from any other season that I've got to see. So I'll just uh, go over my opinion on the last few weeks of sports. So I know I'm a little late on it, but my channel wasn't started yet. So Tampa Bay Lightning won the Stanley Cup. Congratulations to them. Steven Stamkos, no one more worthy of winning Stanley Cup than him. Everything he's been through, his blood clots, broken leg, Tampa Bay um, squandering opportunities in the past few playoffs. You know, they made it in 2015 to the final, but, you know, they were a very young team. Blackhawks on the end of their dynasty winning their third Stanley Cup. And good for them. You know, I mean, that is what you can hope for as a fan going in taking one step, getting a little higher, and then eventually getting to the goal of Stanley Cup, which the Toronto Maple Leafs, um, <laughs> three years, what is it, three years getting beat by Boston. It was actually refreshing getting beat by the Columbus Blue Jackets this year. So not any less frustrating, but, you know, you can always throw the excuses around, which I'm not. I'm not going to say, oh, it's because of the COVID season. It's because, you know, they wouldn't have made the playoffs anyways. When the chips are down, you, you have to perform. <laughs> you can't be winning a game 3 nothing, blow it, and then do the reverse the next game. And expect that trend to keep up because, you know what, you might get lucky in a first round and you might be in a team that has bad defense and you have a little bit better scoring touch, and you beat them, you're not going to beat the Boston Bruins. You're not going to beat the Tampa Bay Lightning in a conference final. And there is no way you're going to beat any of the Western Conference. I, it's a nightmare to think if, if the Vegas Golden Knights were in the cup final against us. I'm not betting on the Toronto Maple Leafs. So, on to the Toronto Maple Leafs. We traded Andreas Janssen, who obviously was great with the Toronto Marlies. Came up and he, he showed flashes of what he could be. And coming into his career, he didn't have major expectations. A lot of people forget that Janssen, all the pressure we put on him, he was a seventh round pick. He was drafted in 2013. The same year that we drafted Frederick Goche, 2013. So think about all those bad leaf years. Get Austin Matthews, get Mitch Marner, Nylander. That guy's still over in Sweden developing, which those leagues are a factory for just, it's, it, it's amazing. People forget about the Swedish, Finnish, German, KHL just factories for producing NHL players. And the thing is that sometimes they don't get as much exposure. So you know what? You're going to take a smaller winger in the seventh round. Turns out to be Andreas Janssen. And what? So what, what were people expecting out of him? You know, I mean, it, anything that he did, he was playing with house money, in my opinion. So he's traded. It seems more like a cap dump. So Andreas Janssen. For Joey Anderson, who was the 73rd overall pick in the 2016 draft by New Jersey. He hasn't done much on the NHL level, has a few goals, a few points. But what can he be for us? He's been in Bimington with the Devils organization. Been a good AHL player so far, but you know, 2016, still some time to develop. Has some upside. And that's the thing when you're... Uh, a team on the rise, or a team that has one, is trying to win, or has a wealth of good players, you got to pay them. We had to pay Janssen a couple million bucks, almost four million. You still got to dump some money off in some places to make up for it. So, on to our free agency. Pick up Zach Bogosian. Just won the Stanley Cup with Tampa Bay. One year, one million. I think that's going to be a good change and I know a lot of people say we need more grit and tough guy knows how to play hockey too you know you could put him in your top six I'm happy with that our options were pretty slim the last few years I think he's refreshing 
TJ Brody. We signed him out of Calgary. They couldn't hold on to him. Good pickup. So if you look at our top six last year compared to now and you slide it in, it's already looking better. Not even just with like having better defensemen. It's that Brody can pay, play better in his end and he can put up points. Power play, you need that. Um, nothing against like Martin Marinson or anything like that or Justin Hall. Um, you got to fill the spots. This ship is leaking constantly and you have to find answers, right? So, um, and some free agency news is that Taylor Hall signed a one-year $8 million deal. $8 million deal in Buffalo. Um, a lot of people are confused by it, saying he wants to win, but I'd say that this is a possible big upside. Not winning in Buffalo, but pairing up with Jack Eichel. If they feed off each other, even if Hall doesn't stay long-term, the prospects for his future gets better. Um, and he's looking for that big payday, wherever that's going to be. And, you know, Arizona, New Jersey, he had some good years. Arizona last year, not too much, but he's trying to get that big payday. And I can understand that from, you know, if you're a human level, you're thinking you want to set yourself up financially. Buffalo, wild card, maybe. But they have some stuff to do too. They got to fix their holes. So, I'm going to wrap this up, but I am very much looking forward to doing this. Again, there isn't much news about the MLB or anything right now. Lakers just won last night. I will talk about basketball sometimes. They just won their 17th championship. LeBron won his fourth. What a story. COVID season, everything. Anthony Davis over there with him. That's great. Good for him. So... This is going to be my first video, hopefully the first of many. Thank you very much to anyone who's choosing to watch, and I appreciate that you stopped by. Thank you. We'll see you soon.